Oh, viewers, are you ready to go hunt the Guardian set loose? Because it lusts for destruction, that's what I was told. But at the same time, I can't really hold that against the godlike entity, because he's pretty accurate on what he's talking about. All I know is that I'm heading this direction to some sort of desolate city or something. Uh, there's some fence posts or something. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. There's a pathway or something. Um, I'm just, I'm just saying to what looks pretty obvious. I mean, at this point, I think we can all agree it's, it's leading me somewhere. And I mean, my horsey, my horsey, my silly horse, my silly pony, he's just kind of riding and then I gotta do a flip. Oh, that was epic. Let's be honest. That was the best. It was the best. I don't really know what else to say about this whole entire situation other than you know you gotta swim to this island I, I i guess i'm just stating the obvious at this point um hi everybody welcome to shadow of the colossus part 15 if i'm not mistaken but anyways how y'all doing i hope you're ready to go hunt a colossus because i mean that's what we got going on something along those lines and i mean and supposedly there's like a city and I mean I, I can't wait to see some sort of remnants of a lost civilization you know just kind of see what happened to this whole entire area because I mean this is a mythical land I, I hear Aiko is connected to it so these people some of them have horns some of them don't I mean what could be the possibilities And I got the cinematic, so obviously we know we're in the right direction. I mean, that's my cue or something along those lines. But the point is, I gotta, I gotta go find me the Colossus, you know, this Guardian dude. He's set loose. Uh, I, that's my only clue that I really have, other than he lusts for destruction. I know, I've said it like a billion times, but at the same time, it's all I have to go on, viewers. <laughs> I don't know, this is the remnants of some sort of lost civilization. I mean, sure, but I don't see any homes or anything. That, that makes me sad because you know city uh hey it's a reskin to number nine that, at least I think. you know what not the point the point is we got a little ferocious beast-like colossus you know it looks very similar to that one that we fought that was the the keeper of the flame or something along those lines uh i like the keeper of the flame which i'm gonna refer to that one colossus this guy will ram into you that's pretty much all he does he doesn't really do the whole swiping thing although he will so i mean it's not like it's completely uh un un, un predictable i don't really know words devoided at this point what I have to say is he ramps. That, that's his main thing. That's his main gimmick. You know, he does a thing. Uh, sometimes you want to taunt him. And I found the best way to do that is just shoot an arrow. Because, you know, he'll ram the thing once. But he won't do it again, you know. So basically, in order to get him to do the thing that you want him to do. Which, you know, is what I need him to do in order to progress this whole entire fight. I gotta lead him down the path. And I gotta taunt him so that I'll ram into the thing that I want him to ram. I mean, it's pretty straightforward otherwise, and I like it for that, you know, it's pretty much like you follow the path, it, it's kind of right there, it's kind of obvious, but at the same time, you know, sometimes you're just not really sure where you're supposed to go from point A to point B, because, you know, you might see something, it's like, that. that's where I need to go, but, uh, for the most part, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious, you know, you won't really get fooled too badly. Also, you know, he's, he's gonna do it, you know, so, you know, you try to brace yourself a little bit, and then you go for it, the shot again. It doesn't hurt him, but it makes me feel better. Oh, man, if I was a sniper, that would have been a headshot. It would have been fantastic. But, unfortunately, you know, these colossi, they don't, ru they don't work on the same level of uh, humans, or whatever these guys are. I don't know. I don't see too many people with horns on their heads, like steers. Or something along those lines. But hey, if if we did have horns like that, you know, I'd to I totally would want some. I, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty badass, you know. Maybe maybe I could use them to like I don't know, maybe I could use maybe I could cut them off and use them as like a drinking like cup 
I mean, that would that would be like good use of them, right? It would also probably hurt like a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Why would you ever cut your horns? You'd bleed and you'd probably die from blood loss. Or at least I would, because I'm a dumbass. But hey, you know, irrelevant. Irrelevant. No one cares about my own dilemma and my own problems and what I'd probably do to end um, my, my life accidentally. Because let's be honest, it wouldn't be intentional, viewers. It wouldn't be suicide. And I mean, that's not a laughing matter. That's pretty serious. I should probably stop with that. Uh, but, you know, what I shouldn't stop is tying this guy, you know, sniping him from what would look like a an easy shot. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going I'm to find him. And see, here's the problem. Here's the reason why you guys shoot him. Here's the reason why, you know. He, he just kind of wanders around, you know. He rams you once, and then he's just like, not really sure what he's doing, you know. He's just kind of like, well, now what I'm going to do? What am I? He's like me, you know. This Colossus is symbolic of myself, you know, because oftentimes whenever I fight these guys, you know, it's a puzzle. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my life. But at the same time, you know, I like to think I have some idea, so I try. I try real hard. And occasionally I'm rewarded. It's like that one song, you know, you can't always get what you want. But hey, regardless of everything at hand, I'm a do. I'm a do because I can video game. Or at least I keep telling myself. And really, at the end of the day, if you believe, if you believe hard enough, and if everyone believes with me, and even if you don't, it's irrelevant because, you know, I, I can't. I can't. You know, the positivity, everybody. We gotta, we gotta have some positive reinforcements. At least that's why I choose. Okay, I got knocked down, but I can get up again. <laughs> I was gonna finish the line, but hey. It's irrelevant because, you know, copyright infringement. No one wants that. No one needs that. I'm sure that wouldn't have gotten copyright infringement. Also, everyone would have known what I was talking about. Ugh. How are you all doing, viewers? How are you all doing? You know, I'm eating up the clock, really, because it's, it's a pretty obvious set of stages I gotta do, you know. I'm just trying to lead him down the path of his own distraction. It's really all I got going on in this whole entire part. So otherwise, I mean, there's not much to say about it. But hey, I'm feeling pretty confident about the whole entire situation. It's a pretty good run, you know. I haven't really flubbed up too bad. I mean, sure, I got knocked down. But hey, it is what it is. And so anyways, let's, let me think for a second. This is the... 14th Colossus if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty impressive I must say because you know after this guy it's the 15th Which I loathe and then the 16th and that's the last Colossus So I mean for all intents and purposes, you know that this is a pretty good mix-up because you know It's pretty straightforward. Did I just snipe him in the butt? <laughs> oh my reputation as the legendary bush sniper just it, it, it's back. Oh man, okay uh, I, sh I probably shouldn't get into that until I, you know I'm I'm in a shooting game where I'm I'm sniping everyone in the butt. But hey, you know I, I I digress. For some reason, and I cannot explain it, I have the skill of like you know with with some sort of long range weaponry and, and butts. But hey, I, it's it's all irrelevant. Okay, I got rammed. He didn't like that. That's my only conclusion here. Also, I'm having a tough time trying to do what I. I, I want to do which is climb up this wall because you see we're, we're nearly there to actually doing what I need Also, he swiped. I told you he does that man. It's annoying He doesn't do it that often not like the other one because that guy has some claws You know, he's like a big cat this guy. I don't really know. He's more of a dog Which I mean either way. I still feel guilty. You know, he's, he's still pretty pretty like awesome for all intents and purposes, you know, like I like cats, I like dogs. Some people say they're cat or they're dog people. Personally, I'm everything. I mean, everything you could name right here, right now. And do I feel bad? Well, I mean, I know I said I wasn't feeling guilty, but I mean, god damn, that hurts. I mean, I've got hit in the back by boxes from my job, but I mean, ow, I feel bad for this guy. I I destroyed part of his face. I mean, sure, it was a little bit graphically weird because it kind of glitched the whole entire armor off because, you know, it had to uh, despawn, but at the same time, it's like, ow. I, I mangled this guy. I deformed him. He 
is critically injured, and I mean, sure, his weak point is very obvious, and it's it's much like that other one. It's, it's I guess, very, very, uh, very similar in every way, you know? It's the same model, same thing, just like a different tech. But hey, uh, for all intents and purposes, I, I still feel bad. I mean, <laughs> what have I done? He's still, he's still not injured in the slightest according to his health bar, but it's like, man, I, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Your funeral is not going to be pretty. Because, I mean, they try to make you look nice, but I don't think there's any way of fixing that. I don't even have cement. Also, I got knocked off. I was not expecting that, viewers. I, I, I apologize. How? Also, uh, quick, quick little tip little tidbit of advice uh, you can make him run into things and it stuns him that's a that's a key gameplay tip from your pal Gildum on how to make this fight a little bit easier on all of y'alls because I mean try to actually grip him and then you know you think it's a little it's a little haphazard it's a little tedious and, and not fun and it's like how the hell do I do this god damn fucking just just how do I how do I make it so it's bearable that that's my internal thoughts you know it's like how do I make this bearable and the truth is you just gotta stun him you gotta stun him just a bit and you know that's how you that's how you get success you know that's how you can move on to the 15th Colossus which uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, uh, 14th Colossus, yeah, this guy is pretty cool, you know, I'm just gonna knock him in the face, just shoot him in the face, he's, he didn't like that, but hey, he's done, and we're all good, we're all happy, you know, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun, happy game, he makes, he makes delightful sounds, you know, he's, he's having a good time, that meter, did I say that was his life bar, no, that's his, that's his happiness meter, when it goes from the right to the left, it's, it's showing how happy he is. You know, the uh, the lighter color, that's his depression. We need to make him absolutely thrilled, you know? He needs to be happy, so happy that he passes out. You know, it's a happy fun time for everybody. You know, I've just braced myself. This glyph, that's his, uh, that's his unhappy glyph. We have to make that disappear. You see, it's all coming to plan. It's all a matter of... of just according to everything, it's it's the master plan, you know, Dormin, 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 you know, Charmin Ultra, you know, that guy, he knows what he's doing, he's, he's the quick picker up or something like that, no one really gives a shit, so it's all good in my book. Point is, uh, this guy, he's like, he's doing the thing, you know, he's, he's, he's kind of, he's, he's trying to give us a welcoming headbutt, you know, just a, just a all so nice headbutt, and look, he's happy! He's thrilled! He passed out from delight! We did the thing we always wanted to do! Oh man, we did a thing! That that's that's his depression. That that's what's leaking out. That's what it is. I solved the mystery. Gildum is a genius. Oh. But unfortunately my burden is that I have to take everyone's depression, so now I'm left with an empty hole in the uh, devoided soul. I fill an empty void deep in my heart. Man, that just got really dark for a second. I'm sorry. No, it's he's happy. We did the thing. Oh, we're still saving. See, here I was thinking we got the cutscene. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess, I guess I'm still a dumbass either way you look at it. But hey, it's all irrelevant because I made him happy. He's happy. Happy fun times.
So we're on the 16th Colossus, right? There's no 15th Colossus, it's a myth. I'm just gonna get out my silly pony and I'm just gonna ride off into one direction the sword tells me and we're all gonna be happy and I'm not gonna deal with anything of a headache, migraine, some sort of brain aneurysm that's slowly building in the deepest part of my brain, but hey, you know, it's it's all irrelevant because no one, no one really knows my pain, my suffering, the things I feel when I have to think about a one next to a five that also is associated with the Colossus, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 that's not what's happening. We're going to the 16th and final Colossus. That's what we got going on, you know. <laughs> Some people would say I'm in denial, but it's not true. Not in the slightest, you know. We made number 14 all happy. Um... Some of you might be saying Gildam. That's not how numbers work. Or counting, in a matter of fact. You know, you, usually you go from, you know, uh, 1 to 14, and then you move on to 15, but hey, 15, I say what 15? We already did the 15, you know, it's, it's, uh, that, that's what the last guy was. Did I say 14? I meant 15. Um, how about, how about some, like, saving? Maybe possibly doing some minor exploration, and by minor I mean maybe getting to a safe shrine. I don't know if I'm going to find the lizard, to be honest. We're kind of cutting it short on the time limit, because, you know, I try to keep these things somewhat timely. Uh, despite all my lament, you know. Uh, lament, I mean, you know, my alighted stature attitude, you know, I'm, 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 I'm ecstatic. Yeah, that's what I mean to say. Super ecstatic. Whew. Anyways, my point is, we got a safe statue. I think it's a fantastic time to take advantage of that safe statue. It's time to fight a lizard or something of the sort, you know, because, uh, that's what I got going on. Except, you know, I think I will save you guys the trouble of having to find said lizard because honestly, when it comes down to it, I think some of you are grateful when I just skip ahead to the point where I actually get the stat and don't have to waste like three minutes just trying to figure out where the guy is and then, you know, trying to aim precisely. Because, I mean, sure, I say three minutes, but... <laughs> Uh, let's just say I've wasted about, you know, a good part worth length time to try to make that happen. It wasn't a fantastic situation of my own, like, time, usage of time, personal time. <laughs> time's running out. What? Time's running out? No! What, what am I saying? Time's running out. You know, I'm just saying. This has been happy fun time part. Guardian set loose, and now he's in a happy coma. Yeah.